What is up guys? Welcome to the video. Today we have an 8 mile run. Uh, it's getting pretty dark pretty early now so I kind of have to hurry up because it's going to be dark by the time I end this run. But we have an 8 mile run today. This is the deload week. I'll get more into that later in the video. But yeah, I'll see you after the run whenever we jump into a gym workout. Alright. Gotta believe before the world does. That's the truth. Gotta be proud of where you came from. That's all you gotta believe in you. No matter what you've been through. Every day a new day, another chance for you to be the best of what you wanna be. Don't let them tear you down. You could be anything. Stick to your vision, your mission, and plan. Little by little, you start to advance. The tallest trees come in smaller plants. You want a dream, boy, you take the chance. Will you risk it all and make sacrifices? Will you live your life? You gon' try to keep, keep it running, running. Can't say nothing, nothing. Mama, they gon' love me. Okay, what is up guys? So we just finished that pull workout. Also finished the eight miles before the pull workout. And I had a PR for my 10K. I ran it in 46 minutes. I think we could have ran sub 45 minute 10K if I was just running a 10K and not eight miles today. But that's pretty encouraging. I'm getting faster, so that's really encouraging. But yeah, just wrapped up all my workouts and stuff to do today. I think we're gonna go pick up some groceries. Just a little bitty grocery haul. Uh, not that big of a deal, but I'll take you along with me to do that. You know, just gotta grab the essential stuff, some raspberries, gotta get some fruit in, gotta get some eggs for our pancake mix, make some eggs in our pancake mix, gotta get some 93.7 ground beef, gotta get some Quest protein bars, the birthday cake, that's the only way to go. Also gotta get some rice for our bowl of rice with our beef. Also gotta get the Kodiak pancake mix, everyday thing, almost forgot some syrup, but we grabbed some syrup. Now back to the rest of the video. Okay, what is up guys? So it's been a couple days. It is now Sunday. We have a 12 mile run today. We are finishing up this deload week. I'll get more into the deload week after this 12 mile run. It's starting to rain. It's like 55 degrees outside today. It's pretty chilly, but it's nice weather. I'm going to enjoy this run. Um, also, I will put the mileage for today's deload week on the screen right now. It's, pretty, it's a lighter week. It's only 30 total miles as opposed to like 48 we had last week but yeah again i want to finish up this 12 mile run hopefully before it starts pouring down rain and i'll get into the top of this video afterward okay what is up guys so we are 10 miles into today's 12 mile run i found a bridge i'm under a bridge like a fucking troll right now because it is pouring rain i'm still getting it done uh maybe it's not too echoey in here but i forgot to mention yesterday didn't really record anything i didn't record anything uh we just had a five mile run we watched alabama beat the hell out of auburn alabama touchdown I'm watching the Mike Tyson fight. But yeah, getting this run done and I'll see you after it. It's over. Mike Tyson has returned. Okay guys, so we just wrapped up a push workout, also a cross training session that I had to get done today. But let's get into the deload talk. Okay, so we just made it home. We got eight ounces of 937 lean ground beef and some rice we're gonna whip up right here. But getting into the deload talk, uh, I looked, I did some research on the way home. I think runners call them down weeks, not deload weeks. Deload is more like a powerlifter phrase, I guess, or what powerlifters call it. Kind of the same concept, but let's get into that. Okay, let's talk about the down weeks. I'm gonna start referring to it as a down week, as runners do, instead of a deload week, like powerlifters do. So down weeks, what is a down week? Down weeks is whenever we lower our mileages by like 30 to 40%, it helps to help with recovery, so we can actually recover. We have two rest days every week, but we want to actually recover and this can help us out mentally too. We're doing this in hopes to recover so we can continue to progress in our workouts, in our runs. Uh, the more and more you hold off on a down week, the more run down you're gonna get. 
like we'd rather take a down week so we can be back at 90 to 100 percent and continue to make progress in our training than be stubborn and be like no i don't need a down week and then be run down and be at 60 percent or 50 percent in our workouts because our body is just so worn down and it's similar again to a deload week in powerlifting it's literally the same concept they have a week or I don't know how many weeks they have in their programming, but they have a week in their programming called a deload week where they will decrease their weight that they're doing by a certain percentage so they can continue to progress and the rest of their training before their meet so they can be the strongest on the day of their meet. Because uh, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to peak on the day of the event, January 31st. We want to be our very best on the day of the marathon. And we can't do that if we're run down and we're not getting the best training that we could be doing because we're run down. So after this deload week, we're gonna jump back into the higher volume until we eventually get to uh, the two weeks before the marathon. And then we will revisit these mileages that we're doing this week, uh, the last two weeks of this prep, to hopefully taper down so we can peak on the day of the event. So we have fresh legs, fresh mindset, fresh everything for the day of the event so we can run a sub four hour marathon and I'm gonna be documenting the entire process like I have been doing. The only way to know if we run a sub four hour marathon is if you subscribe right now so you can tune into that video whenever we post it after January 31st. But that's all I got for you guys. I'll see you in the next one.